guys and welcome back to my channel so today I am doing a 0 to 100 hour transformation Valentine's Day get ready with me I love doing get ready with me's for different events different seasons I did one for Thanksgiving for New Year's and you guys seem to really like them I have already done my hair for the most part guess I should address the obvious I chopped off all of my hair my hair was like this length and as of yesterday it is now this length. I don't have a lot much else to say but I'm very happy with it and I don't think I will regret it in any way. So yeah we're going to be doing a Valentine's Day look, a pink look. We're gonna do a little pink shadow, lash, heavy on the glow, soft lip. That's what I'm feeling. Without any further ado let's get into the chatty get ready with me for Valentine's Day. So firstly I'm going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. Shout out to my dad. He bought this for me and I've been loving it and then I'm also going in with the number seven airbrush away pore minimizer so I'm going to firstly apply the primerizer all over my face my skin needs hella hydration this time of year so I put a decent amount of that and I'm just putting that all over my face this product feels so good on the skin. I've heard YouTubers that I love and have similar skin types to mine talk about this for so long. And I had it on my list, but I just never got around to purchasing it for some reason. But it is seriously a wintertime staple. It changes the way my face feels. It changes the way makeup goes on. And I just love it. Then I like to take this pore minimizing primer and focus it where my pores are larger and more noticeable. This one has a nice slip to it and it really makes my skin feel really nice, especially with that primerizer. Then for foundation, I'm going to go in with one of my all-time favorites. This is the L'Oreal Pro Glow and this is in 201 Classic Ivory. And as you can tell, that just gave a really nice first base to my skin. It evened out my skin tone. You can definitely still see my blemishes. I have one here, and then I have some extreme dryness and peeling here. It's been there for like two or three weeks now, and it just will not go away. So we're going to do our best to cover that up with concealer. And for concealer, I'm going to be mixing two of my current favorites, the Essence Camouflage Matte Concealer. I've been debating doing a full review on this. If you want to see that, let me know, but the gist is that I really do enjoy it. Then I'm mixing it with the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, my favorite in the shade Snow. Really do like it under the eyes for smoothing especially, and on my chin, in between my brows, tends to get just a little gross. So I really like that for its smoothing quality. For the Essence Matte Concealer, I don't find it too mattifying, but I like to, again, Again, take that under the eye because it's a little lighter so it's more brightening down the nose and on any blemishes that I have. I find this concealer really good coverage. It claims to be like camouflage tattoo covering. I wouldn't say that it has that level of coverage necessarily but it does have really really nice coverage. Now that I am fully adequately concealed I'm going to go ahead and bounce that out with my beauty blend. Under. As you can tell, that gives really, really nice coverage. Um, you can't see any of my blemishes and my under eyes look super, super covered and bright. So now I like to go in and bake certain areas with my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. I have mine in 05 Fair. And I like to take this on a beauty blender type sponge. This sponge is a different consistency, so I like to use it for powder. Just set my under eyes. Then for the rest of my face I'm going to go in with my MAC Studio Fix powder and this is in NC10 which is my winter shade and I'm just going to lightly set the rest of my face with the Sephora Pro Airbrush 55 and I just lightly go over my cheeks and my forehead so that I can blend everything seamlessly all my blush product highlight bronzer that kind of thing so I'm going to go in with this Dior Backstage Contour Palette and 
I really like mixing actually these three together. I just kind of avoid that one. And I've been using this Sephora taper brush. Go in and do a more precise contour and then go back over it and bronze. Go in with my butter bronzer, go back in with my face powder brush, and I like to do a more sloppily applied bronze on my entire face. Then after I'm done my bronzing and contouring, I like to go into that Maybelline Loose Setting Powder and bake under my cheekbone. While that baking sits on my face, I like to go in with my brow product. So typically I like to go in with the Anastasia Dip Brow, but I haven't been able to locate that for some reason. So I've been going in with my Benefit Cream Gel Brow, and this is in number two. Moving on to the pink shadow look, I pulled two palettes for this. I pulled the Norvina palette where I'm going to likely go in with Love and Wild Child and maybe Dreamer. Then I pulled the Rimmel's Magnifies Crimson Edition palette. You guys know I love these Rimmel palettes and I will probably go in with this shade and perhaps some of the other ones. So that's what I'm going to do. I will show you guys, talk through what I do as I'm doing it. It, and I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit for the shadow so that you can really see what's going on. Okay, I don't love how the eye look turned out. I wanted to do some fun sparkle and glitter, but the shadows that I was working with just weren't having it. And when I reflected back on what I want this look to end up like, I don't really want all of that glitter and sparkle. I want it to be a little more natural and easy to achieve and just pretty and feminine. So I'm going to go ahead and not try and make that work. I'm just gonna leave the shadow as it is and go ahead and focus on the face. For for today's highlight, I'm going in with MAC Soft and Gentle. I thought that would be good for today just because I want this look to be a little more girly and less intense glam. This is just going to be a flirty, girly, easy to achieve Valentine's Day look. And I want the face to be overall very glowy. So I'm putting highlight all up in my temple area and on my forehead. I just want to be very glowy. Now blush is one of the most important parts of a Valentine's Day look in my opinion. So I'm going to be layering blush. The first one that I'm going to go in with is this ColourPop blush. And this is in the shade Noodle. Very true blue pink. Don't worry, we will tone it down and it will all come together in the end. Next, we are going to go in with the Tanya Burr Cosmetics Illuminating Powder in Peonies Please. I love the sheen on this blush, so I want to get a little bit of that on the face. I'm using this product more so as a blush topper. Now I'm going to go back in with bronzer just because I feel like I lost a little bit of that wiping away the bake. So I'm going to add some more warmth back to the face. And I want a little more precision under the blush area. So I'm going to go ahead and bake kind of in here to make sure I have that effect. And while I wait for that strange looking bake to settle in, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the Essence Wish Me a Rose Lip Liner. This is a super pretty pink, so I'm going to overline a little bit as well. That is how the lip liner looks on its own. It's such a pretty pink. Give a more natural flush and a glow. I'm going to go in with the Dior Lip Glow, and this is in 001 Pink. I really love the look that that lip product gives. It just makes it a little more of a balm, a little more natural. I really, really like it. Now I'm going to brush away this crazy bake and I'm going to go ahead and add some more blush on the higher points of my face because I feel like I was a little too sloppy before and I want it more up here. And to keep the look a little more girly and fresh, I'm going to forego liquid liner and just go in with mascara, the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. 
So for lashes, I'm going into my Ardell little lash book from Christmas. I don't have much left over, but I'm going to go in with the Demi Wispies. I feel like these are perfect Valentine's lashes. So I'm just going to pop those on and come back to smoke out the lower lash line. Okay, so I have now applied my lashes. Ignore this inner corner. It is just not cooperating with me today, but I want to go ahead and add some more pink to my lower lash line. So I'm going to go in with this super vibrant pink here, smoke out that lower bottom lash line. Then lastly, I'm going to go back into my soft and gentle highlighter and I'm going to add a bunch of that back onto my cheekbones because I lost some of that when I was removing fallout. And that is the finished makeup look. Now I'm just going to go off camera super quickly and change into my Valentine's Day outfit. Okay, you guys, that is all that I have for you. I hope that you enjoyed this kind of chatty. I wasn't feeling very chatty today. I'm feeling a little off, to be honest, but I wanted to get this up for you guys, and I think it is a really pretty look. So I just got down to the basics in today's video and really showed you guys how to achieve this makeup look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. If you did like it, be sure to like it. That helps me out a lot. Let's me know that you guys like these type of get ready with me videos. And if you aren't subscribed, subscribed already, please be sure to do so if you like my content. That is all that I have for you guys. As always, I hope that you had an absolutely amazing day and thank you so much for watching. Bye!